What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Young Texas and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So yesterday Call of Duty released the roadmap for Season 3 Reloaded. The mid-season update coming to both Black Ops Cold War and Warzone tomorrow. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first things first, let's take a look at some of the big updates that are coming to the Black Ops Cold War store. Two brand new and very exciting bundles are being added. One of which being the Tracer Pack Die Hard Operator Bundle. This is going to come with John McClane. Yes, the protagonist from the movie Die Hard as an operator as well as some other stuff. And another bundle is the Tracer Pack Rambo Operator Bundle. This is of course coming with Rambo from Rambo as an operator along with other stuff. So this is very exciting and this is to fit with the 80s action heroes themes of this mid-season update. Further, there will be new events and rewards coming into Black Ops Cold War and Warzone, so be on the lookout for that, as well as the new weapons being added. So firstly, the Ballistic Knife is now being added into Warzone, which is very exciting. The Baseball Bat Melee Weapon is being added into Black Ops Cold War, and these are both going to be at launch of the mid-season update. And later on down the road, we will be seeing the introduction of the Amp 63 Pistol, so this is very cool. This is the first new pistol we've seen added into the game since its launch over six months ago. So again, very, very exciting. So quickly, let's take a look at zombies because unfortunately there isn't much changing with zombies with this mid-season update. In Outbreak, we are seeing a brand new main quest and also we will be seeing some new intel, a new world event with the Orda encounter and a new limited time mode in Crank 2. Now this is pretty exciting if you guys know what Cranked is from previous Call of Duties. It's the game where once you get a kill, a timer starts going down. And if that timer hits zero before you get your next kill, you do die. Now you also get some quick movement. You get uh, an increase in movement speed with every kill you get. So going to be interesting to see how that relates to zombies and how they integrate that into zombies. But nonetheless, I'm sure they're going to do a great job at that. Multiplayer is also going to be seeing its fair share of updates with new medals, challenges, and rewards. So medals that we have seen in the past will be revamped with new names and looks to fit the 80s action heroes themes of this mid-season update. Along with this though, we will be seeing some new game modes. At launch, we will be seeing the introduction of Die Hardpoint. This is going to be a hardpoint up to 200 points. Now, with this, it is also just like Cranked. When you get a kill, you will have a timer at 30 seconds. If this timer hits zero before you get another kill, you will die. You will also get a buff in movement speed, weapon handling, ADS speed, slide speed when you get kills. Now if you're in the hard point, your timer does pause and you are able to get kills to rack up some time back to a maximum of 30 seconds. So this is very, very exciting. We will also be seeing Rambo's gun game introduced in week two. So this is going to be like the classic party game gun game. But we are going to see new weapons introduced into the fray, such as the Combat Bow, War Machine, RPG, and the Death Machine. So this is very exciting and kind of fits that Rambo-esque sort of idea that they're going with with this mid-season update. So that's very, very cool. And we are also going to be seeing a Heroes Mosh Pit. So this is very, very cool. And I'm very excited. I think maybe it's going to be a mix of Die Hardpoint and Rambo's Gun Game, but I'm not too, too sure yet. We are also going to be seeing the introduction of Duga as a multi-team map. This was a map that was already released with Outbreak, but now it will be brought into that multi-team experience in multiplayer. And of course, Standoff, the iconic map from Black Ops 2, is making its return to Black Ops Cold War tomorrow with the mid-season update. I'm super, super excited. This is an iconic map, one of my favorites in Call of Duty history. They are doing a really good job this year with bringing back some iconic maps that are making the fans very, very happy, and I cannot wait to hop straight into it. Last but certainly not least will be the updates to Warzone. This is super, super exciting. We are going to be seeing some new themed locations and side missions, such as survival camps, a CIA outpost, and of course the iconic Nakatomi Plaza from Die Hard. This is very, very cool. We are also going to be seeing new loot such as an action themed loot table and the introduction of the combat bow as a score streak in Warzone. This is kind of exciting and I'd like to see how players use this in Warzone. Will it be used? Will it not? That is yet to be seen. But also we will be seeing the introduction of a new limited time mode power grab. 
So this is really, really cool as well because limited time modes in Warzone have always been cool. We've seen limited time modes in the past. So this is actually going to be something interesting to see how they integrate a new limited time mode into Warzone. In Power Grab, the starting circle collapse is going to be smaller than in the traditional Battle Royale and will have five stages and there is no Gulag. So instead, you must either revive your squad mates through the buy station or earn the right to revive them by collecting dog tags. This is similar to Kill Conferred for multiplayer as every operator will drop dog tags each time they are eliminated. These dog tags can also be found as rewards for completing contracts and in rare cases, they can be found in supply drops around Verdansk. Each dog tag collected brings you one notch up a reward ladder which is visible on the right side of your HUD. This reward ladder includes a UAV, a respawn token which will give you the right to bring back one of your teammates, an advanced gas max and specialist bonus bonuses at the higher tiers. Now, this is very, very exciting and I cannot wait to give this a try because I'm a big fan of Warzone. I've been playing it a lot recently and limited time modes are always, always, always cool. But yeah, guys, that is effectively going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, be sure to leave a like and comment on it down below and let me know what you guys are most excited for in this mid-season update. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on those notifications so you never miss any of my daily uploads. And for even more from me and my amazing team, Scarotta Gaming, be sure to check out the links in the description below for banger Call of Duty content every single day. And for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news, be sure to connect with IPC in the links in the description of this video as well. But other than that, I hope you'll have a great rest of your day, and that's been it. Peace. Peace.